tu wasa mango, wasa mango. Kelab kelab. Tapi di sini. Oi, 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 oi. Kau nak cari apa tu senyum? I grew up in Andres, so Andres. I am an island boy. Yep, I do island things. Most people down here in Andres mainly rely on commercial fishing, like lobster fishing and fishing for conch and stuff like that. There's not much jobs down here in Andres, you know. Most people leave because there's not opportunities here that keep them here, you know. Most people don't like to commercial fish, you know, on land crab and lobster fishing like that. That's why they leave. But the bonefish lodges are more dependable than the lobster season. So right then and there, I decided that I'm going to try just do what I used to do, like do a little yard work and stuff like that to try elevate myself and maybe get some training to be a bonefish guy. Push, 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 push. Keep pushing. Fish coming here. Oh, yeah. See him? Let the boat turn, let the boat turn. You feeling what I'm saying? Uh, so I just. Whee, whee, whee. Uh, that is a no no. Well, I've been guiding now for 25 years. Uh, I commercial fish for like 44 years. Okay, I, I've been guiding over maybe 20, 22, 23 years, something you now. Most guides. Is 40 and above right now. And next 10 years, those guys are gonna be 50, 60. So they don't wanna push around no boat or go look for no bonefish. I wish it was more guys, a lot more guys, who was like Prince to get into this right now. Fish coming in, Charlie. Huh? Fish coming, fish coming. Yeah, I see him, I see him. You see, I spot that one. I spot yes. them. Yeah. And I put you on them. That's what I want you to do. Okay. <laughs> Big school coming up ahead, Josie. Big school coming up ahead. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Keep them to your left. Well, this the right. This is a job that you really could make a lot of progress from. Yeah, it's a good living. And it's an easy living because you're not mixing no concrete. You're not up on the roof shingling in the hot sun. You're not raking no yard. You're out there with Mother Nature dealing with you. But we don't have many young guys here, and the couple that is here, they're not seeing it like us. I guess they, they figure the money is good, but the time for training. So I try to tell them, well, you got to sacrifice. <laughs> that's what I want you to do. That's, that's what I want you to do. <laughs> I know Prince from a, from, a, from a kid. He used to be off when he came back home to live and he saw us doing this, and that's what he want to do. He keep turning the boat this way when the fish this way. I, I get it now, though. I you got it now? Yeah, I watch your hand. Because next time I'm whopping you. <laughs> I got to ow, I can fix the boat then. Well, it, 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 every day is a learning process. What about casting in the wind? You need to cast in the wind? If I cast in the wind? Yeah. You could? 100% mm -hmm. sure? Let me see it. But he's getting there, and it can take some time, because every day you learn more and more. 10 feet of line, how much percent power back? 10%. 20 feet of line, how much percent? 20. Okay. He deserves it. He wants to do it. Yeah, he's a little bit slow with it, but eventually he's getting it. Hard back, easy forward. Grace. You gotta be grace with the rod. Grace. He's gonna be so good. I tell you the truth. <laughs> he's gonna be good. I, I say better than me. That's it. That's what I'm looking at. That's all right. Let's walk to the boat.
I moved away from Andres looking for work and went to experience what the city life was about, but it wasn't really me, you know? <laughs> it just wasn't me because I'm an island boy and I like to do island things, so that's what I longed to do while being over there. My mind kind of just wandered back off on the island. And a lot of folks from Andres really want a job down here, you know? If folks get, get the news that there's something to do down here, there will be tons of people moving back home. I would like to see myself in the next five or 10 years uh, owning my own lodge so that I could be able to give back to the island so more people would stay down and uh, stay to Andres and not move off to Nassau looking for work. They'll be able to find work right down here in Andres and make some good money from it. Yep, and enjoy fishing and do something that they love. Mm -hmm.